Uh, Shalom, Akim, Baba Raza, Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Rashem Yahweh Shai, Rashem Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and others of the great millstone, and blessings unto the holy elect, hopeful elect, Bakayako Dash, and the four winds waiting to be de delivered in these last days, man. Just a quick upload, you know, as you know, the curses that are upon Jake, you know, us catching hell. From the womb to the tomb in this wicked our society, Babylon the Great has been on us since you know we broke the law, statutes, and judgments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, um, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, man. And um, but now you know the Lord's about to redeem Israel, you know, as the scripture says in the book of Lamentations, our punishment has been accomplished, you know. So the Lord's gonna lift the curses off up, up upon us, His people, His chosen, and put them upon the heathen, man. That you know been oppressing us for the past hundreds and hundreds of years, man. Especially the so-called white man, who are known as the Edomites in the Bible, namely Amalek, which is you know as the scripture says he was the first of the nations, but his lie and is is that they shall be destroyed, man. They shall be done away with, man. That's in the book of Numbers, the twenty-fourth chapter, twentieth verse, and um you know prophecy speaking loud and clear. Now you got these damn Rothschilds, one of their heiresses. Don't know if it's the one of the daughters or whatever, but a house basically got raided, you know, got robbed, for 500 pounds worth of gems, man, of jewellery, man, which weren't theirs anyway. All that jewellery and all the riches that these Rothschilds have got over the years, it's, it's all stolen anyway, man. It's all been robbed. It's all, you know, the whole system that they created, that monetary system that they created, been backed by fraud, and that's how they got their riches. They got their riches through, through, you know, enslaving the Lord's people. You Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, whether you like it, hear it or forbear it, man. You know, because uh, going back to the Jews, which is you know, trust one of the du the Am Amalek tribe of Amalek, uh, the nation of Edom, the Dukes of Edom and shit. You know, um, they 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 finance slavery, man. That's well known in the documents, man, in the history. And them Jewish rats finance slavery, man. And then uh, you know, one of them spawns of those devils comes to you know from the Rothschild family, man. You know. Rothschild's family, uh, they call themselves the Jewish, you know, um, Jews, so to speak. And, you know, when I was asked the question of whether they were British or not in one interview on TV, they said, no, we're not British, we're Jewish, you know, Jewish stock. But really, they're not a bunch of Jews, they're not Jews or Jewish, you know, they're pertaining to be, which what that word wish means, ish, at the end of um, Jew. Um, but what they really are is a bunch of Edomite devils, man, and their time is up. You know, the Rothschilds, which that word stands for, Red Child, you know, from um, Maya Amshel Bao, when they had these banking companies and all that, the Red Shield, really, that goes into the Rothschild, goes into the Red Child that was born, named Esau, back in the, that was Jacob's wicked and um, evil twin brother, man, you know, paternal twins, man, not identical, but paternal twins, man, or fraternal twins, you know, that was born, man, you know, through Isaac and Rebecca. But um, throughout history, you know, Esau's showing his horns, man. He's about to show his horns even more these last days. Whether this was a hoax or a setup or whatever, just to hit the news, you know, I don't know. But um, if it did really happen, good for their asses anyway. That's just a precursor to these devils fall falling from their grace, man, falling from their glory and they're catching more hell, man, because, they, they, you know, this is only the beginning for them, man. Because after this, after their empire is destroyed, they got to go into a thousand years of hardcore, hardcore bondage. And these Rothschilds family and all that, they're going to be the first crops of slaves in the kingdom to come. That's say if you are by you Shai, man. I'm going to get that scripture, Lord's man, uh, after I read the other scriptures that I got. But yeah, this is beautiful news, man. It shows that the curses are uh, falling upon the heathen. The Lord's, the Lord's about to judge Esau, man, in the greatest of ways. And there's just no escape for these devils, man. And um, yeah, man, they've heaped treasures for the last days. I'm going to get that scripture real quick. I'm not going to speak for too long. Just to push that vibration out there that Esau's through, man. Esau's finished. It's James 5 and 1. It says, Go to ye now, ye rich men. Talking about these international banking families that own the monetary, that own the, own the stocks, the markets, um, you know, global wealth and all that, man. It says, Go to ye now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your, your miseries that shall come upon you. It says, it says, Bare miseries are coming upon these devils now. Even though they're, they're on top of the world, so to speak, you know, because the scripture says the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. It says, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten, you know. It says, your gold and your silver is cankered and, 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 and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. 
and shall eat you, eat your flesh as it were fire. It says you have heaped treasures together for the last days, man. And that's what these devils are going through right now. They're thinking that they're going to rule forever. And the wickedness they've been doing and they ain't going to be judged. But you got a lot of judgment to pay for, man. Namely for putting your hands on the Lord's people, the apple of the Lord's eye, the children of Israel, man. And then taking their, taking on their, um, you know, their, their um, identity, man, as the, as the Jews, man. When you're not the, the real Jews, the real Jews are you Negroes, you know, so-called African, um, African-Americans, man. You know, the Negroes, man. It says, um, verse 8, I'll drop straight down to it. It says, be, no, it says, like a, uh, so verse 5 is lucky. It says, you have lived in pleasure on the earth. So these devils have lived in pleasure, man. They ain't had to work a day in their lives, man. Everything has been gotten with a golden spoon, a platinum spoon in their damn mouths, man. From generation to generation. As the scripture says, they pass on their riches from generation to generation. They're not in trouble with other men, but they're going to be in trouble now. It says, you have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. It says, you have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. See, so these devils have been living it, been living it up, so to speak. And then that 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 clock is ticking on their asses, man. You know, the Lord says it's not the, the time for them to go down. You know, Joe, uh, Joe, the fourteenth chapter is is gonna go down in that split second, man. You know, no hesitating. You know, no overtime, basically. It says Joe twenty and and um fifteen. It says um he have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up. Again, it says, the most high shall cast them out of his belly. And that's talking about these rough trials, man. These rich banking families on the earth, man. You swallow down riches, man. Everything you got by ill-gotten gains. As the scripture says, you, the thief comes not but to steal, kill, and to destroy, man. You've stolen everything, man. The Lord said you're going to vomit it all back up. Even going back to the time of, you know, 70 AD. Or just before that, when Rome was, uh, when, um, you know, Vespasian and Titus, or Titus more than likely, um, besieged Rome. And his brother Domitian commemorated him by building that, that arch of Titus over there in Italy, man. You know, to commemorate Titus taking down Jake, man. Which he was, he was his Jews, man. You know, the house of Judah, basically. You Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was up in Jerusalem at the time. Where you had to scatter out of that land and flee into the west coast of Africa and all that. You know, as the Lord prophesied that would happen. These devils swallowed down those riches from even back then, man. Took everything out of the temple, holy temple of the Lord, you know, stole everything. So even those riches from back then, these devils got to pay for taking that, man. You know, the Lord ain't forgotten nothing, man. The Lord said he will cry after that which is past. So you devils got a shitstorm of, of hell coming for you, man. And there's no escape, you know. It's Jeremiah 50 and um, 37, it says, A sword is, come, uh, is upon the, their horses and upon their chariots. And it says, and that's talking about the nuclear missiles, man. And it said, upon all that uh, the mingled people that are in the midst of her. And that's talking about America, because America's not about a big melting pot of all nations, man. But Esau's the head honcho of that shit, you know. It says, and they shall become as women. It's meaning you're going to be afraid, you're going to be shitting yourselves. It says, a sword is upon the, her, her treasures, and they shall be robbed. So you devil's going to lose everything, and they're not only just going to be melted by nuclear fire anyway, man, you know. Everything that's everything else that you've stolen around the globe is going to come back to the inheritance of, the, the, of Jake, you know. But you devils, you, you're going to be the, the biggest um, treasure of all because we're going to get to put your essence in slavery, man. Not that like your treasure is a good thing, but you, you know, the Lord's saving the best for, for last, basically. We're going to actually get hands um, get the chance to put our hands on you devils and put your asses in chains, man. That's what I'm going to get in the next scripture, you know. I just wanted to look for a quick verse quickly if I can find it. Um, yeah, so it's Jeremiah 50 and 11 It says, because you were glad Because you rejoiced, oh ye destroyers Of mine heritage, who's that talking about? It's talking about your so-called white people, man Your so-called Jewish rats running around Talking about your Jews, man You know, whether you're Hashitic or, you know Whatever Jews, man, you can want to claim yourself to be, man You're a fake, you're fraud and a freak I mean, you're, you're claiming a fraud The Lord knows you, man The Lord got you caught, uh, caught out, man You know Book of Revelation tells you that. You know, your brothers can read it. I'm going to go to Revelations 2 and 9, Revelations 3 and 9, man. Talks about you fake ass Jews, man. Jewish rats, man. Bunch of Amalekites from the Dukes of Edom. But just like in the film with Eddie Murphy, made by Aaron Russo, Trading Places, you saw what happened in that movie. 
the dukes are dukes of them. I can't remember their names, but the dukes anyway. They actually call themselves dukes in the movie. They lost their positions, man. They got from, went from rich to um, you know, rich man to pauper, man. And it's funny because even the Rothschild's original name was Bauer, and that means a, a basically a peasant, a pauper, man. You know, so you're gonna go back to being a peasant. Yeah, you're gonna be back, go back to being the basement of the earth. And you're gonna actually look like them as well, cave dwellers and all that, man. We looking all fucked up, man. Day and the night, you know. And, you, and your women and children are going into captivity, man. If you want to hear it or not, it's gonna happen. And you can't override or out, um, you know, um, you know, um, do away with the prophecies, man. Because even if you're trying to do away with the prophecies or trying to, um, you know, deter these things are happening, is is written down anyway. So you're only fulfilling it, man. So it's because you were glad, because you rejoiced, or you destroyers of mine heritage, because you're grown as f- f- grown fat as the heifer at grass, and bellow as bulls. That's you devils, man. As the Lord, the Lord's gonna cut all that off, man. You're gonna lose all your riches, man. You're gonna lose that cr- that crown. You're gonna lose that throne that you're sitting on right now. And your ass is gonna be going back to being a peasant, man. You know, the only peasants on the earth, and all the nations are gonna look down upon you and, and ridicule you, especially the nation of Israel, man. Saying it's this the man, you know, the great deceiver of the earth. You know, but um. We jump to the next scripture. We've got one or two more scriptures and they'll close out. And that, this might be the last one. Uh, Psalms 149 and 5 says, let the, sa- let the saints be glad, be joyful, Slakia. In glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds, which are the men of the Lord doing day and the night, man. And we all, all mean we're going to be doing that when, we, when the Lord comes and delivers his elect, man. We're going to be praising the Lord, uh, you know, without ceasing, man. Joy, tears of joy, man. He says, let the, his, the prayers of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute the, the execute vengeance, man. Revenge, man. That payback's a bitch, man. You know. He says to execute, and, you know, and it's sweet as well. Revenge is sweet, man. Sweeter than fucking pussy, man. Excuse my French. You know, so to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And you're the ultimate heathens on the planet, man. So that's the Lord distinguished between the Gentiles and who the actual heathens are, man. The Israelite foreigners, and you have the actual um, foreigners, you know, the heathens, and the Karya and the, he- and the Hebrew, you know, the strangers and all that. And the strangers in the Hebrew for Israelite foreigners is God, man, you know. This is to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. This is to bind their kings. The Rothschilds, they're kings of the earth right now. Whatever they want to push it out there, your daughters and all that shit, you know, the whole family line, you know, their whole bloodline and shit, they're kings on the earth right now, whether they want to proclaim it or not, man, you know. So it's to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So ounces of chunky iron, man, going around your necks and your legs and your arms, man. You're going to get fucked up, man. You know? Deservedly so. So it's to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All his saints, talking about the children of Israel, man. Because they're the only saints that the Lord's dealing with, man. They're the only saints that the Lord created on this planet. The holy ones, man. You know, the chosen. You know, starting with the chosen, the elect of the nation of Israel, Yasha Allah, meaning the princes of power. The sons of the, the sons of the, the, the sons of God, the sons of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, his only his only chosen seed. Starting with his only begotten. Our Lord and Saviour, how is shy? Because he gets first dibs, man. He's the preeminence, man. So this is beautiful, man. If these things are going to come to pass. You devils ain't going to escape shit, man. It tells you in the book of Nahum that the, the wicked shall not shall not go unpunished, man. The Lord's waiting for your ass. He's, he's angry with the wicked every day, you know. So this is beautiful, man. You know, I just want to go back to this article real quick. Picture in that. Rothschild heiress in 500,000 gem raid terror. Says children were upstairs as gang targeted London home and seized hall of jewels, including her engagement ring. Beautiful man. More hell and destruction is coming for you devils, man. Your time is up. You're about to fall thoroughly, man. So all praises and glory to Yahweh, uh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, and you know, Shalom to the elect, man. Brakatam, Shalom, Shalom.